This is Alana. We're going to do a video today to help demystify the Amazon ads dashboard. All right, so we're just going to take a step back, make sure <clears throat> when you guys go in here, um, this video is not about setting up ads and it's not even necessarily about analyzing your ads. It's more about just making sure that you know all of these metrics, what metrics you should be aiming for, what are good, um, ACOS is, all of that stuff. So any questions you guys have about anything to do with what you see in the ads dashboard, let me know. I also wanna point out a few things you can adjust. You can adjust anything in the columns you see with customized columns. So that's where like, if you wanna track your click-through rate, you click there. Um, there's lots of things that you can select to see here in your columns. You don't need to just go with their defaults. You can adjust for how far back you see. You have a couple options. You can look at lifetime. You can look at up to your last 90 days, or you can do year to date. Unfortunately, you can't look at um, like we are in, what are we in? September. We can't go and look at like February and January isolated. Um, we can do year to date, or we can do any time frame in the past 90 days. Um, you can do last 30 days, last week, this week, last month, this month, all of those. Those are all options for how much time's worth of information you want up here. And then you can also adjust um, these things that you see up here. So let's say that your screen looks like this where there's five boxes with numbers on them. If you wanna see different metrics than what you see, you X out of the very last box, click add metric and lots of other Okay, so here's some of the things that I recommend you follow. Your I like to look at the number of orders and the number of clicks right now, but you could. And then if you notice, you can click on to added to this graph. All right, so if I want to just, in I'm going to do that. Now the orders are going to show as orange. The clicks are going to show as blue. If I wanted to look at my spend versus sales. Um, so that's how you do that. Anytime you click on these, you'll see one of the orange lines will appear on top. That's going to represent this orange line here. And there's a blue line here. All right. So let's go through kind of the definition of each of these metric points. All right. Spend's pretty clear. It's how much money you've spent on your ads. Impressions is how many people have seen your ads. And the really great thing to remember is that impressions are totally free. You are only charged if someone clicks your ad. So impressions are free. Clicks means somebody has not only seen your ad, but they have clicked it. Um, this one, I actually don't pay a ton of attention to. I don't really pay attention to my click-through rate. It doesn't tell me a whole lot. There's not much I can do about it anyway, and it's always gonna be really, really low. <laughs> so I totally ignore click-through rate. For me, click-through rate does not tell me if my ad is effective or anything. Um, cost per click, you definitely wanna keep an eye on because that can for sure contribute to if you're making or losing money. Let's talk about orders. Orders is a really, really useful metric because it's the actual unit of sales. Um, and so where you see the sales, that's just how much money Amazon has made from the books that you have advertised and people have clicked. So process is somebody sees your ad, that's an impression. They click on the ad, that's a click. You get charged for that click. That's your cost per click, which contributes to your spend. And then if they buy that book, that will count as one order. And in the sales, you won't see your royalties. You'll see how much Amazon gets. So if it's a $3.99 book, your sales will go up by $3.99. All right, so I like to look at orders because to me, one of the most important numbers you get here is your clicks to orders ratio. It's a super easy formula. You just take the number of clicks you've got. So in my case, 191,000 divided by the number of orders you got. All right, that's how many units you've sold. And that tells you how many clicks it takes to make a sale. So in my case, I need eight and a half clicks to make a sale. For full-priced books, I'm super happy with that. For full-priced books, 
it is um, a really good sign if you can get 10 clicks per sale. And in a lot of cases, it's hard to get like fewer than 20 clicks per sale. So if you're getting 10 clicks or fewer to get a sale for a full price book, you're doing great. If you can get between 10 clicks and 20 clicks per sale, then you're doing fine. Um, for a 99 cent book, it's going to be a little different. For 99 cent, you'll probably want to see more, like definitely less than 10 clicks per sale. Um, and yeah, it's harder to be profitable since you're only getting 30% of that 99 cents. Um, but there, there are times, that's not for today, there are times where advertising a 99 cent book totally makes sense. We'll talk about that another time though. Ready? So clicks to sales, really, really important metric. Your A cost just takes how much money um, you have spent and they divide it by how much money in sales um, that your books have sold as a result of these ads and they give you a number, okay? A cost is good for one thing and that is to see at a glance how your ads compare to other ads, okay? It's not fabulous for telling you if your ad is profitable it's definitely not the only metric that's going to tell you if you should turn an ad on or off. Basically, it's just a nice number to at a glance, see how it's doing. The lower the A costs, the more profit you get. All right. So let's forget about 99 cent books because that's a tiny bit different since it's at a different royalty rate. So let's assume we're talking about just books in the 299 and above range where you're getting 70 percent royalties. In that case, anything below a 70 percent A cost means like guaranteed profit to you, all right? So my ACOS is 72%, it's higher than 70%, but I'm actually super happy with this because I know that I am making way more money than what's reported here in sales in people who like buy one book in my series and go buy it on to buy other books in my series, okay? So that's why some people are gonna say like you need an ACOS below 70%, totally not true, but it's useful to see at a glance how some of your ads are doing compared to others. Um, those are the only things, like some of these are um, unique to the Advantage dashboard, you don't need to worry about it. Um, the KDP ads dashboard also will show you your page reads, that can be useful. Um, it's a new metric, it's debatable how accurate the results are, but hey, might be better than nothing. All right, so those are the numbers here. Now let, let's just look at the columns so that we can see in that sense, what is and isn't working well, All right? So here is where you can go to customize columns um, and you can see any of these numbers here. You can see how many clicks, how many orders, how many sales. Um, basically, it's all the same stuff that's mentioned here, but now you can see it like for an individual ad, okay? Um, and then the really useful feature is you can click at the top of a column to organize it by like what has spent the most, all right? So this is the ad that has spent the most amount of money. I'm always gonna pay more attention to the ads I've got that are spending more. It's not really gonna be worth it for me to go and nitpick an ad way down here. So for example, let me find, oh, let's go to the next page. This ad has spent $4.97. Boo hoo hoo, it's only made one book sale for $3.99. Not a big deal. That's not enough data to know if that's a good ad or not. So I'm not going to worry about that. So that's why I organize um, and spend most of my focus on the ads that have spent the most money. And then the other thing you can do is you can filter by. So for example, I could filter by um, my type. So I can only look at my sponsored product ads. I could filter by... Um, Active status, that's another useful one. So maybe I only want to look at the ads that I have running right now, right? Those the other things you can do in filter. So that's the Amazon ads dashboard at a glance. Hope that was helpful for you guys.